I'm all cozy and comfortable. Most usually I have on my little house slippers and I bet you've never seen house slippers like these before. These were made with a set of washcloths and I'm going to show you just how they're done. And when you put these on, you can make these for anybody's feet. And you know what? One year, my mom and I, and I think some other ladies from our church, uh, we made these for every one of the older ladies in the nursing home where we went and had services for them every Sunday. And they just loved them. We did them in bright reds and bright greens and all nice colors. And they were so excited. Now that was probably, let me think, about 10 or 20 years ago. <laughs> I'm really telling my age now, but let's get started because you just might want to make these for yourself because like I said, they are really cozy and comfortable. Now I've already gotten started. This is a, just a regular washcloth and I have folded it in on the sides. And if you wonder about the size, go to your project sheet that you received in your uh, Craft TV video packet or just put them up on your feet and fold those sides in until you get just the right amount that you need to tuck over for this cute little ruffle. I'm leaving enough room right here so that there is enough room for the elastic to go in. And that's what holds it all together at the top. Now, after you've done these two uh, steps, then we're going to make the heel. Now I've just taken regular thread and I'm doubling it. We'll put a little knot down here. And the way we form that heel is just to fold this in half and then pull it up like this and it forms a little triangle. Pull it up just like that. And then all you have to do, if I can get a grip on my needle here, is to tack it. Now let me get it started and then I'll raise it up here for you to see a little bit better. Now, if you have a whole lot of ladies that are doing these all at one time, you can put an assembly line together and lickety split, you have about a dozen pairs of house shoes made that you can bless somebody with or give them to all your family members. Now that's all there is to that. And if you want to, you can go ahead and go up this little gap and close that up with a little whip stitch. See how fast that went? Now just knot that and you're all done. Now we're on to the next thing, and that is our toe. Now, let me flip it back around this way, and I'm going to thread some more thread onto my needle. Now we're ready to do that toe, and it's simply a gathered stitch. Now I'm taking probably a quarter of an inch stitches here and just making it kind of loose. Now this is just going to gather it up so that you have a cute little toe. Now make sure you use a double thread. Now just pull that and do it sort of like we did the heel only instead of making a little triangle, we're making a little rounded, gathered toe. Now whip that a couple of times with your needle and thread, because you sure don't want it to come apart, and then knot it. Now this is a wonderful project for someone that is just a real beginner at sewing because they can learn all kinds of things. They've learned how to whip stitch, they've learned how to gather, and, do, and they've also done two little things on their sewing machine. See how that formed a toe? Now we're ready to add the elastic. Now I'm taking just a regular safety pin and I put it on the end of my elastic 
and I'm going to start at the toe and just thread that through. You know, years ago we could get washcloths that had all kinds of different paisley designs. I noticed whenever I was shopping for these I could even get animal prints or polka dots. And the more fun you have with this, I think, the more you'll enjoy wearing them. I just keep going. As you can see, I started on one side and I just threaded all the way through until I'm back around to the toe where I started. Now, just pull this up. Let's see here, let me pull it from this way and then this way. And I'm just pushing that washcloth up onto the elastic. And if you're making these for yourself, you can actually put your foot inside here while you're gathering this up and know exactly the size that you want it. Now, after you get it this far, trim that off and then just tie it. No sewing involved here. Just tie that. Remember, you're right here at the toe and then snip it off. Now the next part is to make our little pom-pom. Now if you've never made a pom-pom, don't sweat it. It's really easy. All I've done is cut a piece of cardboard the size that I want my pom-pom. And I put my cardboard over here and I actually measured my house shoe as to how large I wanted it. I've taken regular yarn and eyelash yarn, put them together, held them together, and just wound them on here 20 times. Now I'm going to slip it off and I'm going to bind it with a piece of yarn and just tie it in a good knot. Just like this. It's kind of making a little bundle. Then you're ready just to snip it and then do the other side and trim it up really nice until it looks just like this. Now remember where you had that elastic, you've got a little place there that's a gap that you can place your yarn, pull it through, flip that over, and tie that pom-pom right into place. Do it in a nice knot. Now these are washable and I'll tell you something, the more you wear them and the more you wash them, the more comfortable they are. There you go. Another great idea for comfort crafting.